On tonight's episode, we have the Orc Speed Freaks in a preview battle report going head to head against John Cook's Chicken Blood Space Wolves. Who's gonna win? Watch the episode and find out. To keep up to date with everything at Knights at the Game Table, all you have to do is click subscribe and then hit that tiny little notification button next to it so every time we upload a new video, YouTube will be sure to let you know. And so this is it, season two of Knights at the Game Table. We're gonna be calling this season Kingslayer to differentiate between all of our different shows that we have here at Knights of the Game Table as we've evolved so much. However, after talking to you guys in our Game Talk for Gamers group on Facebook, which we'd love to have you come and join, by the way, if you're not in, um, we've learned that you guys want us to go back to the old format that we had in season one. So we've done that. It's just gonna be called Kingslayer. And as you can see, we are back filming at Dragon's Lair. We're still gonna be filming at Grim Dark Games as well, but we thought we'd come back to this place as we're doing it. Now, don't forget, while watching the show, you still have an opportunity to win a Star Collecting Box of your choice. So you two could have uh, Forces of the Space Wolves Star Collecting Box or an Org Star Collecting Box, or in fact, any Star Collecting Box you want from Games Workshop for either Age of Sigma or Warhammer 40,000. To be entered into our free monthly draw, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and share the video. So while you're joining Game Talk for Gamers on Facebook, and of course, leaving a comment down below and sharing this video, I'll see you in the game. Hello, my zoggin' little crumpers. We is back. Speed Freaks is out. The Codex is right on the cusp. And we is bringing you some brand new Speed Freak action right here on a 40k tabletop. I has got two whizzy detachments. That is Outrider for you what is using Imperial Umi terminologies. We has got one what is bad moons. We still has not seen the codex at the time of recording. But according to our best information, bad moons gets to reroll shots of a one. So that is what they'll be doing today. We has got three death copters with rockets and kill saws. We has got three war tracks with twin rockets. And we has got the shock jump dragster it is a sports car it's got a great big gun and a flux capacitor what more could you want hq for that detachment is the big mech on a bike with a custom force field and a combi rocket then we has got another whizzy detachment it is the blood axes now the best we know they is able to withdraw from combat and still shoot there is some sort of rule, apparently, about always being in cover, because I don't know if that will actually apply to vehicles or just infantry. We're just going to leave that out. So all there is getting is being able to pull back and still fire. If this turns out not to be correct, then maybe Games Workshop, you shouldn't have made us wait a year and a half for our bleeding codex. Just kidding. We love you. We're not annoyed. Really, really not annoyed with you. Wah! In the blood axes, we has got two units of war bikers. Thank you for dropping the points value on those. We have seen that in the older Speed Freaks book. And then we has also got the custom booster blaster, the other new vehicle in Speed Freaks. Leading that detachment, we has got a war bus on a war bike. He has got Ed Whopper's kill chopper and a combi scorcher. Bring it! Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's been a while, but I'm back. Space Wolves, back on the table. Uh, today I've got two detachments. Uh, I've got a uh, Vanguard detachment with uh, Wolf Guard, with uh, four combi melters, uh, five shields, and a power axe. It's five guys. Um, then I've got Wolfen with uh, four hammers, four storm shields, and then the pack leader. Uh, I've also got a squad of uh, Space Wolf Scouts with uh, sniper rifles. Then I've got Logan, and he's leading. And then I've got a, a Supreme Command detachment with Arjak, a rune priest that has Fury of the Wolf Spirits and Tempest Wrath. And then I've got a Wolf Lord with a Storm Shield, Thunder Hammer, and the Armor of Russ. So... If I can get to combat, we might do pretty good. We'll see.
Today we is playing War of Attrition. Blow up as much of the enemy stuff as you possibly can and get points for the power level destroyed at the end. It is just how he likes it. Mr. Cook, let us roll for the first turn. You think you can beat the chicken blood? Chicken blood, there he is. Oh, <laughs> failed. I have uh, destroyed the chicken blood in the six oh. to one. However, there is still the roll to seize initiative. Ah, uh, here we you go. Slow chicken blood it? there. Oh, no. Oh. All right, you're first. All right, the entire army has moved a little bit forward into shooting positions, particularly to line up these eye damage rocket based weaponry against those Wolfen. Around the right hand side, we've got the Shock Jump Dragstar. It is the only vehicle not currently covered by the custom force field, but that's where it had to go to do some shooting. Then uh, the war bikers have come up to the front to provide a bit of a screen for everything else. Behind them, we've got the death copters on the left and the war tracks on the right, ready to unleash some rockets. Immediately behind them, the big mech on the bike with a custom force field, projecting that defensive aura against ranged attacks. In the back, we have got Nathan McFarland, the war boss. From a viewer named Nathan McFarlane, thank you very much, by the way. He is gorgeous. And we have got the custom booster blaster ready to unleash the rivet cannon. All right, let's start out with the shock jump dragster. It is going to be firing the custom shock rifle and the rocket launcher into the Wolfen. Let's start out with the rocket launcher. It is hitting on a five. That's a five, it is it in. It is strength eight versus... Tough four. Versus tough four, so he's wounding on a two. That is a wound. You are on your invulnerable, sir. Three up. Yes. It's good, all right. Now for the custom shot rifle, because this has both a grog gunner and a targeting squig, it is plus two to it, so I was looking for threes. I was re-rolling that one, because we is bad moon. Both hitting. This weapon is also strength fate, so we is looking for two Ooh. to wound, both wounding, two more invulnerables, John Cook. Right. Three up. Look at that. Made them both. Chicken blood. Oh, that, that chicken blood soaked dice is right in there. Okay, next up we has got, we'll do the single rocket on the big mech. So we're looking for a five here. Misses. Now he's going to go on to uh, the water axe. There's got twin rockets each, so we has got six shots in on fives. You're rolling ones. Three, that's a six. So dagger, 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 extra shots. Also in it, that is four hits. Uh, strength eight, so wounding on the twos. Four wounds for you to save, Mr. Cook. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look out. Uh-oh, two got through. Two got through. These are three damage per. Uh-oh. Orc rocket technology. Five but feel no pain. Nope. Five but feel no pain. No. Two go down. Two go down. Next up, the death copters. Ah, uh, same weapon profile. Rockets. And then we've got one dagger, dagger, dagger off that six. Does not hit, but that still leaves us with three connecting. That is three wounding on twos. All three wound. Uh oh. Three more in mono rolls, John Cook. Three up. Oh, oh. look at that. Ugh. And those are three damage each? Three damage each. Ugh. Five ups. No. Oh, so close. And Come on. Five ups. Yes. Oh, look at all three of them. All right then. So only taking out one more wolf and two left in the squad. Custom booster blaster is rivet cannon time. We is hitting on fives. Um, we has got no rerolls here. One hit, but it's a six, so dagger, dagger, dagger. Still just the one hit. Strength seven, so he's wounding on a three. Does wound. Uh, let's see, minus two weapons, use on your invulnerable. So he needs to make one of these. Nope. Because he wasn't yeah, in the yeah, train. Come true. on, John Cook. Oh, oh no. Oh. That is the end of my shooting phase. I've got no charges to make. So it is the end of my turn. Mr. Cook has some morale. Six plus four is ten. I'm going to re-roll that. Yeah, spin that command point. 
Well, they're Space Marines. They automatically uh, reroll it. Oh, water reroll. And nice. they shall know no fear. They shall know no fear, particularly not from the Green Horde. All right, then. John Cook, it's uh, over to you. All right. Um, the Wolfen advanced. Um, our Jack followed right behind him. So did Logan. The Rune Priest and Wolf Lord both jumped out of the building, caught up to him. Wolf Guard slipped and fell on a banana, and so they're, they only advanced one inch. And the scouts are going to stay where they're at and fire. Tempest Wrath on your buggy there, your red buggy. It goes off on a six. If it's successful, you're negative one to hit. All right, then. No. Oof. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can get Fury of Wolf Spirits off. It's Wolf Charge 7. I'm going to command point that. And that makes there it a are. 9. There All right, go. then. That's more like it. Goes off on a 9. Okay, so I've got five sniper rifles at your big mech. All right, then. Hitting on threes. So fives and sixes are a mortal wound. Ooh, look at that. Nice. All right, so we is going to save those on a four up. He's made one, so he's taking uh, three wounds. Three wounds. He's down a uh, two. He'll shoot his pistol here. Hits. And wounds. So one wound on the bikes. All right, uh, saving on a four up. Made it. All right. The Rune Priest is going to charge. All right, <laughs> dagger guns blazing. And all of them missed, every single uh, one. Look at that. <laughs> all right, and he's charging. Oh. He misses it. But I get to re-roll because of the wolfing. All right, come on, John Cook. Yes. Nice, on a 10, look at that. So he's going to make it. Now the wolfing is going to charge. And he makes it as well. Look at that, 11. Chicken blood. <laughs> you heard it here first. We'll start with the Rune Priest. These are strength four and does D3 damage. So all of them hit. And looking for fives. One. And that's negative three. Cannot that's save D3 it. D3 damage. Cannot okay. save it. Can't save it. Sue damage. That yeah. is going to kill a war bike. The Rune Priest is going to attack with his Fury of the Wolf Spirits. These are strength five, AP negative three. One damage each. They all hit. Oof. And looking for fours. Looks like five of them. Five of them. So um, right, uh, eight, negative them. three again. Negative three. Cannot save on the war bike. One damage each. Oof. That has wiped the squad. Look at that. Yeah. All right. So uh, we has got kill saws, six attacks, hitting on fours, and they hit hard. Two of them are connecting. So twos. Oh, one connects. 80 minus four. So chicken blood. Oh. Oh. Two damage. Now I will use a command point. Ooh. Yes, he's good. Your turn, sir. The shock jump dragster has proceeded further down the right flank to line up, uh, shooting on them uh, wolfy shieldy chaps over there with the multi mellers. The uh, death copters and the war tracks have come in front of this building, also to line up on the same target, and the big mech alongside them. Over here, these remaining war bikers have lined up to fight this character and this wolfen, as has the war boss and the custom booster blaster has just scuttled in behind everything else just in burner range of the wolfen it is shooting time um custom booster blaster is gonna fire its burner exhaust yeah it's burner exhaust and it's drop blaster at this wolfen here and uh, it's gonna fire its rivet cannon all the way at those uh Wolfguard. Wolfguard, Wolfguard. Rivet Cannon, Wolfguard. All right. So first of all, let's do the burner. That's 43 Oiwits. 11, well above average. Strength four, so he's looking for fours. 
just four saves, 80 0. Five up. Nope, it takes a wound. All right, and the Grot Blaster, it's on a four. Wounds on a five. Mm -hmm. Finally, the Rivet Cannon. At the Wolf Guard. Two hits and one dagger, dagger, dagger. Still two hits. Strength seven, so he's wounded on threes. Yep. One wound. So six up. Okay. All right then. All right, let's unload dagger guns into this wolf in here, looking for fives. Yeah. Extra shots. Five, six, seven, eight hits. Wow. Strength five, so threes. Mm -hmm. Three saves. Four ups. All looking That's good. That's what I'm talking about. Let's put the war bosses, dagger guns, and combi, combi scorcher onto the same wolf. And we'll do the combi scorcher first. D6 auto hits. Three auto hits. Strength five. Wounding on threes. Freeze. That is two wounds, AB minus one. Okay. So five ups. Got one. And five up. No, he's dead. Uh, let's unload the shock jump dragster into them uh, wolfing over there. Okay. So first of all, we'll do the rocket. Misses. Uh, then we will do the custom shock rifle. In on freeze. Reroll in the one. Two hits. Strength eight, C4, so wound on twos. Mm -hmm. Oh, only a single wound there. Three up. Come on, baby. Yes. Um, I'm going to start firing some rockets into our jack. Um, we're closest character both here, so we're good. Um, so let's start with the big mech first. Mm -hmm. In on a five. Misses. Now let's do the war tracks into our jack. Uh, five three rolling ones. And that's two dagger, dagger, dagger. Extra attacks. Um, three connects. So twos. Two wounds, AB minus two. Come on, our jack. Yes. Our jack's looking good. All right, now we'll do the same thing with the Death Copters, also into our jack. Exactly the same profile. Uh, we're re-rolling these two ones. And then that six is a dagger, dagger, dagger. Only the one hit. Wound in on a two. Wounds. Three up, come on. Nope. Three damage. Two damage. Three damage. Two damage. Two damage? Oh, has he got reduction? Yeah. Oh, look yeah, at that. His shield reduces all damage by one. His wings are like a shield of steel. Yeah. Let's charge the war bikers into the room priest. Okay, I'm gonna throw a crack grenade at you. I missed. Oh, he's making this on uh, anything. Let's have a four. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to here. And let's get the war boss in there as well. Easy on a yeah, seven. You got it. War boss against the Broom Priest, four attacks in on twos. Yeah. That is four hits. Two. So twos. Four wounds. Five up. No. Five up. Yes. Yes. Oh. Fails one save. All right, two damage. Two damage. Okay. All right, and, and then I will move on to fight with the war bikes, if that is all right by you. Ooh, if I want to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt. All right, then. I got everything to win by it. OK. So that cures me out of command points. So his regular attacks all hit. Oh, look and at that. And he wounds them all. That's negative three. John and Cook. And D3 on each. All right, start rolling them. OK, the first one. One. A uh, single Second wound. one, two. Finishes them off. And third one, three. All right, that wipes two of the bikers, leaving the boss snob. Yeah. And now the, the Fury of the World Spirits, which is the, the psychic power I cast last turn, but it, it'll last the full phase uh, until the next of my psyker phase. And it's six attacks, it's strength five, negative three, does one damage each. That is brutal. Hitting on twos, wounding on fours. Oh, not as good as last time. Two. And those are negative three. Can't save them. Damage. Yeah. Damage one. Damage one. Oh, that is gonna leave the that's gonna leave the knob on one wound. <clears throat> one wound. Mm. All Here right. Here comes the knob. Boss knob. <laughs> three attacks of the power claw. 
Um, he's minus one to it with a power claw, yeah. so we need fours on the dice. But we've made three of them. Strength ten, so he's wounded on twos. Mm -hmm. All wound, all at AP minus three. And how many is that? Three of them. Three of them. Uh oh. Uh, five up. No. Five up. No. Five up. That's gonna kill him. Oh, that is three d three damage. Yeah. Get off the table. Yeah. Two models down, leadership seven, <laughs> and he's only on a single wound. How's he doing? He's all right on a four. All right. John Cook, over to you. All right. All right. So, our Jack moved forward. Logan advanced, moved forward as well. He did not advance because I'm charging this turn. The Wolf Lord jumped over here. And the Wolf Guard moved forward to get into firing range. Okay, let's start with some some sniper action. The big mech. They're gonna pick on him for a while. Threes, no re-rolls this time. Two hits. And wounding on fives. Mortal wounding on sixes. No. no. First I'm gonna fire the two Meltas at the bikes here. More of them. Because they're within 12, so they're gonna fire Melta. Uh, the, what, the bikes or the copters? The copters, I'm the sorry. Copters. All right, the copters. And one hit. And strength eight. So wounded on the five. And that's negative three. Negative three. And uh, does D6 damage. Yep, they can't make that save. Okay. D3 damage. Two. Oh, three. I'm sorry. Three. So uh, they got four wounds apiece. So one of them is on one. Okay. And then the bolters are going to fire. They're not within 12. Two hit. Two for fives. One. One oh. armor save. No. Oh, no it's a four up to save a copter. That's a four. Logan's in. So he's going to fire a storm bolter, hitting on twos. And re rolling the hit. Doesn't help. And looking for fives. And re rolling ones for damage. Two. Two armor saves, no AP. Two four ups again to save a copter. Oh, he's failed them both. <coughs> um, so he's gonna have a copter down and another one go down to three wounds. Our Jack's gonna throw into the the knob biker, hitting on twos. Re-rolling because of Logan. <laughs> oh my word. That dice stays right there. In dice jail, he's done. Yes, he is done. I'm gonna throw a crack grenade Wait, from the Wolf Lord. In the chicken coop? In the chicken coop, <laughs> yeah. Gotta go back, got a date with the priestess. Needs to be rebaptized. So we've got the Wolf Lord is gonna throw a crack grenade at the knob. And he hits. And he wounds, because it's strength six. Yep. So Same that's on that. negative one AP. All right, so I need a five. That's a four, has not done it. Yeah. He is off the board. So, our Jack is gonna charge the war boss. Uh, he is <coughs> needing a four to make that charge, but mm -hmm. he's in combi scorcher range. So he's gonna dish out some serious flaming, plus the dagger guns. Um, so let's try for the combi scorcher. That is four auto hits. <coughs> Strength five, so wounded on threes. Just the one win though, AP okay. minus one. Three up. He's good. And the dagger guns. Okay. All miss. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. Nine, that will oh, get He's him very there. much in. Yeah. Logan's gonna charge in as well. Nine, that should get it. Nine looks Three. good to me. Then he's gonna charge the big mech. The big mech. That will require a five from you first. I've got a rocket and I've got the uh, dagger guns. Let's go for the rocket. Okay. Oops. Let's go for the rocket in the tray. Yep. That is a uh, miss. Dagger guns. One that hit. is one it. Uh, strength five, so wound on a three. Mm -hmm. That is a wound, eight okay. me zero. He's good. All right then. Loving it. Okay, come on, make that charge. Five. five just enough. Ah, uh, you think? Let's start with our Jack and his five attacks on the war boss. Hitting on twos, re-rolling to hit, all hit. 
So winning on threes. Free rolling one. All right, I uh, can't make the save, so six wins for you to chew through. Okay, here's the first one. Oof. That's three. That's, the rest is gonna add up to six, isn't they? That's one. That's one. And that's one, exactly that's still, six. That's still six, he is done. Man. He's gonna move three inches. Now the Wolf Lord is gonna attack the Big Mac. Hitting on twos, or no, sorry, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. And within six inches of Arjak, doesn't help him. So that's four, 12 damage. 12 that well, he is done. Negative three. Uh, he's got four attacks hitting on fours. Let's uh, see what he can do. Uh, he can land one attack. Okay. His strength is five, so he's winning on three. Yeah. That's a wound, ain't he zero? All right. Three up. Oh, he takes a wound. Takes a wound. And that's my turn. This movement phase has been about pulling back, by and large. The uh, war tracks have pulled back over here to get some distance from these characters. The shot jump dragster has also reversed as much as it can. The custom booster blaster has pulled back. He is a blood axe, so he can still shoot. And finally, the death copters have gone over the edge of the wolf guard and he's about to drop some big bombs. All right. Uh, when they move over a model, they get to roll a d6 per model in the unit and uh, five ups do more wounds. Up to five in the squad, so he's getting maximum potential from here. So, each copter gets to drop um, a big bomb, which is going to do a die per model, up to five. There's five models there, so we've got ten dice. More wounds on a five up. This could be nasty. Six, seven more wounds, good lord. That was nasty. All right, so let's put the custom booster blasters weapons into the... Uh... Free up, free up. All right, so uh, all his weapons onto him. So first of all, burners, 43 mm -hmm. auto hits. Seven. Um, so he's looking for fours. That's good, that's five. Five wounds. Five, eight, zero. Uh-oh. Come on, three ups. Now he takes one. Takes one. We'll take it. Now for the rivet cannon. We is in on fives. And that is three hits. Above average when we needed it the most. Mm -hmm. Three wounding on twos. No, wounded on threes, I apologize. Wounded on threes. Two. Two. All right. Saves at AB minus two. Let's see what we can do. Three up. Three up. No. Oh, and that is a two damage shot. And he's done. Yeah, well, he's only in range of this model here, so all of the weapons over here is mm -hmm. going to have to go into him. So first of all, let's do the um, shock jump dragster. Shock jump dragster is going to fire its rocket, which is hitting on a five, which misses. And then it's going to fire its shock rifle, custom shock rifle, looking for freeze. Mm -hmm. um, it rerolls a one, being bad moon. That's two hits. Strength eight. So we is wounding on twos. We've got two wounds. OK. There's a three up. No, Ooh. gets through, and a three up. He's good there. All right, is a D is a D six damage. Okay, he is on three, so he's looking for three up. Can I come on point that? Yeah, you sure? Go for it. Yeah, let's come on point that. Okay, let's okay. see if we can not get that reduced. All right, uh, it's a six. That's more like it. You got it. We did have uh, six more rockets um, from these war tracks here, but their mm -hmm. target is now dead. I feel like we've taken him anyway, but he's gone, so no more shooting there. Um, John Cook, do you think they can shoot them? Sure. Let's recall it. Yes? Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, they advance when they drop their bombs, so they is uh, only hitting on sixes right now. Okay. Um, they are still re-rolling ones, though. So that, well, that's a one and two sixes. That's what we is off. That is, <laughs> so that is three sixes. <laughs> okay. Which is going to generate dagger, dagger, dagger. Of which we got another six. So somehow we've landed four hits on those uh, those scouts up there. Okay. Wounded on twos. Right. And they all wound. You got four saves at minus two. Okay. Four ups. Oh, man. Brutal. 
Three down. Three? All right. They're going to need a morale check. They're good. Morning. Barely. Barely. All right. My move. Uh, Logan's going to move in and go in for the kill on the buggy. Uh, these guys are going to try to kill at least one copter. Logan's going to shoot. Storm Bolter, double firing. All hit. Looking for fives. And looks like one. What? One save, no AP. All right, four up. No, we just taking a wound. The copters. And one hit. Need a five or a six. And yeah, wounds. One armor save, no AP. Wound. Looking for four. We's made this. Right. Then assault. Salting the buggy. First of all, let's unload with the burners. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, it's bang on average. Uh, strength four, T4. Mm -hmm. So fours. One, two, three, four. Four saves, mm -hmm. AB zero. Two ups. Oh, brutal. Oh, two. two. And we still got. That leaves him with five wounds. We still got the rivet cannon. Okay. Any six is here, really good for me. So he's rolled two of them. Oh, man. Oh, my word. Strength seven, so we're looking for threes. That's another save at minus two. Okay. Four up. He's good. Made it. Um, this, uh, <laughs> so, because uh, cause the uh, Groy is riding shotgun, we also get to throw a grenade and fire our pistol okay. when we shoot. These are not very damaging weapons, but we'll have a go. Sure. So, uh, pistol, uh, ink on six, mm -hmm. no. And then the stick bomb is D3 shots. It's three shots, ink on sixes. Oh. One of them connects. Strength three on the stick bomb, so we is looking for five. a five. Nope. No. Can we make the charge? Come on, John Cook. Oh, yeah. Oh, on a he nine. In. Looking good. He is totally in. Okay, hitting on twos, re-rolling. And converting. These are strength eight versus tough. So Six threes. threes. That's four of them. Four of them. Saves and at minus three. That's negative three, three damage. Can't save that, so nine damage. Mm -hmm. Takes out the custom booster blaster. He is off the table. Okay. Now I'm going to consolidate into the building there. Okay, that's my turn. All right, the death copters have moved around the back for position on the scouts. The water acts have decided they do not need to engage this uh, leader of the uh, space walls, whatever he is. They're just going to keep their distance. If he wants to hide in a building where they kill everything else and take the day, that's fine with them. The shock jump dragster is going to attempt to advance and see if it can open a shock tunnel. Looking for a four up. That's a five. 88 miles per hour. It does, in fact, have a flux capacitor, and I painted it right in there, right in there. It gets to teleport across the battlefield and land anywhere that is more than nine inches from an enemy model. So he's coming around the back over here. Hang on a minute. You got it. Probably over this side is more like it. All right, then. Shooting phase. Um, let's do the shock jump dragster into those little scouts up there. Um, we're going to fire the rocket because we advanced. We're looking for a six. We does not have it. Then we has got the custom shock rifle. Looking for fours after advancing. That's one it. Strength eight. So he's wounding on a two. Wounds. Mm -hmm. Five up. So five up. Look at that. Oh, Chicken he's blood. made it. Chicken blood. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Those scouts are going to kill your army. Maybe. <laughs> They, is, they can dish out more wounds. They're true wolf spirits. True wolf spirits. Let's see how the true wolf spirits do against the volley rockets from the death copters. We're looking for fives. Uh, we has got a five and we've got a six for a dagger, dagger, dagger. Three hits, wounded on twos again. Three wounds at minus two. 
Okay, five ups, here we go. There's one, there's two, one goes down. Oh, three damage. So, apparently, <coughs> my death copters have been fact, <laughs> and uh, they have to walk up the wall they are charging as well as going along. I'm gonna stick his arm out so he can shoot. <sighs> Logan hits twice. Looking for fives. No. All right, he's gonna throw a crack grenade. Well, yeah. yeah, he's gonna throw a crack grenade. Better option. Seems good. Hitting on threes. He hits. That's an it. Wounded on threes. He hits. That's a wound. And it's negative one. He won, so I need D3 to... D3 damage. I need a five. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll probably command point that, because okay. I hardly spent any, and I've got nothing left to do with them. Sure. So let's see if we can... Nope. No, it's going through. D3, that's three. Oh, that's three. That's killed a copter. Woo! Unreal. Unbelievable. War Tracks have decided they don't want any of it and have just backed right out. Meanwhile, the Death Copter's decided he wants some of it. He wants some revenge. So he's got right up about an inch and a half away from that remaining scat. And uh, the Shock Jump Dragster has lined up some shots on the scout as well. Death Copter looking for revenge. Two rockets in on fives. Both miss on fours. Disappointing. Let's go for the Dragster. We've got the rocket. Which is a it and a dagger, dagger, dagger. Still a single it. Wounding on a two. Wounds, 80 minus two. Five up. Can the legendary scouts? No. Oh, he cannot. And I'm out of command points. That's him. He's dead. That's him. So that has left me with no targets left to shoot or charge. Um, that's the end of my five. It's over to John Cook, but he's got a lot of ground to make up and one very frustrated Logan in a vehicle to uh, in a building yeah. to try and do something about it with. Not moving. Uh, he's not going to charge out stupidly. And the way the terrain is, I can't hide. So he's just going to stand there and shoot and hope to do some damage over here. So two shots, two hits. Looking for fives and sixes. One. One wound, no AP. Looking for four. Nope. All right, that's it. I'm done. That's it. John cannot make up the deficit. He has got one character left in a building versus three units of vehicles. The other end of the board looks like the day. Goes to the Orcs with a speed war! John, yeah. good game, good game sir. Man. Enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that one's a tough one. Uh, it, Turn one, I thought Kevin had the game. When the Wolfen went away, down to one man, I thought I was done. Uh, lost all the Storm Shields and Thunder Hammers. And then I made the two charges, wiped the squads out. I made an error and didn't announce a, a double charge. I should have charged the unit behind him as well and, uh, and used the, the stratagem to be able to fight twice. But I, I messed that up. Um, but I still felt like it, it kind of swung back my way. And then on turn two, I really felt like I had control of the game. And I killed all of his characters, so he didn't have any buffs left. And then his DACA just got me. And I, I failed some saves, and that was, uh, that was it. And then at that point, I didn't really, uh, when I lost the snipers, um, I, I kind of felt like, that was it, because I knew Logan wasn't going to get into combat with Kevin moving back and falling back. So, um, but yeah, it was a fun game. It's the first time I've, I've played Space Wolves uh, solo without souping it up. That was fantastic good fun playing with these new vehicles and as much of the new rules as we know. Dagger, dagger, dagger as an army-wide rule is amazing. It adds so much to all shooting and takes it from no use at all to really quite viable. And on those flat six damage rockets, absolutely devastating, allowing me to cut through those storm shield units with just enough shots. Uh, much like John, turn one, I thought this is looking good. I can unload onto those Wolfen. I did and nearly wiped the squad. 
Similarly, when he made those charges and then uh, took out all those bikers, I thought I was in a bit of a jam. I was uh, a bit fortunate in that he um, failed to make that charge any better because if he'd taken out all my <coughs> copters, I would have been looking like I was in serious trouble. Those copters turned out to be amazing with their big bombs. They have always been very effective against uh, marine equivalents and going over a bunch of scouts with those mortal wounds and getting a decent... Let's be honest, quite above average roll on the mortal wounds, but still, I was going to average, what, three and a half? Um, and I got the five I needed to finish them off. That was just brutal. Shock jump dragster, loads of fun. Teleport Billy was great. Obviously, that custom shock rifle is very powerful. Custom booster blaster, better than I thought it was going to be. The rivet cannon is very nice, <coughs> and the burner is considerably more effective than I thought they was going to be. Um, particularly uh, with that blood axe rule, which we is hoping is accurate. Um, the uh, custom war boss on a bike here, yeah, Nathan McFarland, incidentally, if you send me models, I will name them after you and put them on the show, was just fantastic. Look at that great big chopper claw saw thing. I don't even know what it is. We played it as Ed Watt was skill chopper, and it is very fitting. Overall, fantastic time playing the army and a fantastic time playing the chicken blood dice master himself, John Cook. My first game against him and I had a fantastic time. See you next time on Nice of the Game Table. Oh man, that was a close one. The game was going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, but it looks like the Orc Speed Freaks really did get the edge in the end. Now, don't forget that the Orc Speed Freak box is coming out very soon. We were blessed to get a preview copy from Games Workshop. Uh, the game itself is also epic and, of course, comes with the rules to use the miniatures in the Warhammer 40,000 game before the, uh, the release of the Orc Codex. So do make sure you grab your own copy of that if you are an Orc fan, just like Kevin is, of course. Um, and please don't forget that if you want to help support the show, we would love to have you become a member of Knights at the Game Table. To learn more about becoming a member, all you have to do is look in the description down below, find the link and click on it. And of course, when you become an annual member, you'll get one of our Knights at the Game Table dice trays. Thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and share the video so you get entered into our monthly draw to win a start collecting box. And stay tuned to see who's coming up next week on Kingslayer, only at Knights at the Game Table. Next week on Knights at the Game Table. Orcs versus... Death Guard. And he pulled, he pulled out of combat. Go for it, kid. My buddy tried that. He still has six kids.